Welcome to a new video series of ClickSense Tutorials by Bharti W Consultancy. This is the first video of the series for ClickSense. To begin with, a person or anyone who knows ClickView can easily understand ClickSense. ClickSense has a better reporting dash dashboarding functionalities as compared to ClickView. The layout is better. It's more user friendly. Uh, it can it can pretty much do everything what ClickView can. Obviously, ClickView provides you a better control on the data scripting and a lot of other technical functionalities. It won't be wrong if I mention that ClickSense is more uh, more focused towards users rather than developers. So in this video, let's let's take a look at it. Uh, how to create a new ClickSense application? So click on Create a New App, and I would type BDCS Part TDW Consultancy Services. And the app was created. Open app. Now, very simple. Click on this data load editor. And you would see the CSV file here. This is pretty much the same. If you look at it, the look and feel is much better as compared to Click View. Say load data. And this is complete. Click on load data again just to make sure. And Go to so this is the same text as you used in ClickView to load it. Now go here and click on over. And click on create a new sheet. Now in order to open or modify the sheet, click on the edit button here. This would open up a template where you can create your analysis or dashboards. So for example, let's add bar chart. Please notice the, the look and feel of, of this new click sense. Drag and drop country. From this bar here, and you can add a measure like sales amount. You can add it as measure, and you could see that there are a lot of pre-built functionalities have been provided. Let's do some. There you go. It's very simple. On the right hand side. You can see the properties. We will discuss this in detail. And uh, just save it. There you go. So click on. And you can just play around with it. 
like you would do in any other new tool. If you want to edit the sheet again, click on edit. Go back in here in the charts and add a pie chart. You can add product category as a dimension and add sales amount like this as a measure there you go you can add another combo chart and add the fields again uh, this time let's add product type Uh, again and sorry I should have not replaced it but add a mesh to country and let's add a sales amount there you go save it again go back click on done there you go you can unselect it that's the power of this. one very good thing which i noticed is that you can also have data from external sources so when i say external sources look at this website it has the details of all the 10 layers and the number of tournaments they have won. I will bring this in my click view. Sorry, click sense. I'm gonna copy this address. Go back to the click sense and click on the data load editor here. It opens up. I can add, click on new connection. It has different options, but click on web file here. Paste the URL and say tennis players. Like that. Click on save. And it's going to grab the data from the website. Now click on select, which is on the right side. You would see that now getting appeared on this one. So the field names are embedded. So I'm going to change this. Look at that. ClickSense is so much powerful tool that it it converted this graph into the data which is being shown here i can rename the name uh, the, the the field name i can say layer name and click on insert script click on load data again and there you go Let's create the data. Let's create another app or a sheet for the players. So click on new app. I would say tennis. Click on this. Click on edit. and go on add a bar chart and I can see player name here and add the number of glance grand slam wins I would say some there you go so 
you can easily see that the the power of click view click sense is definitely in i hope you have good learning experience keep watching this channel subscribe and have fun learning thank you